Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Thugging It Out. Thugging It Out is a platform where we create a safe space to acknowledge, experience, and overcome real life issues in a positive and healthy way. I'm still getting my special guests together, so it's only me. Your girl is solo dolo here. And this week, I want to speak on grace. Yes grace like you know amazing grace like the song that everybody and their mama be fucking up laughing but very serious grace grace is something that we need more of and i don't know i feel like this past week has been like a crazy week in the world and then, you know everybody has so many different issues so much stuff going on and i feel something that we just lack in our friendships, relationships, you know, at work, just in this world in general is grace. We need to give grace, you know, to ourselves, our friends, our parents, our partners, our family, our kids, and even strangers. Like we really need to just start practicing being good human beings. And I know in today's world, everyone gets so caught up in this whole tick for tat stuff, or I have to put myself first, or I'm putting, you know, this selfishness, I'm going to put myself above everyone and everything. When we forget that also on the other hand, we got to give people grace. We got to have some type of compassion, some type of kindness, some type of understanding, and some type of empathy to people you know, just in general in life, there needs to be some type of balance. Now, I'm not sitting there saying that you need to be this person that's constantly putting other people for your needs and you're just allowing people to walk over you. Never. I'm never sitting there, will ever say that on this platform, any platform in life in general to anybody. All I'm sitting there saying is that we really need to just start just being a little more kind, being a little more understanding and just stop being so judgmental. And when I say grace, I'm ultimately speaking about, you know, courtesy, giving someone a pass or just laying off some slack, cutting somebody some slack and just really just uh, be a little bit more compassionate. At the end of the day, we are all human and we all make mistakes and none of us are perfect. And nobody on this world, nobody on this planet can ever say to me that I am perfect because you a bald face lie. We know that. Nobody is perfect. No one has all the answers and nobody got it all together. That's a fact. There's no argument, no debate. That's 100% true. So this week, try to choose silence over violence. <laughs> For real. Silence over violence. That's something that most recently I have been trying to practice and incorporate that in my life and just really silence. You know, sometimes certain people, certain situations or certain conversations or just things in general do not necessarily need a response. I don't have to, you know, go back and forth with somebody. I don't have to sit there and plead my case and tell somebody how I feel. Or I don't always have to respond to certain things. I'm choosing silence. And this week, I want y'all to choose it too. Because we all know, everybody know how to hit people where it hurts. Everybody know how to check somebody. Everybody know how to get them together. Everybody know how to keep it real. But I feel like just in general, a lot of us just struggling with shutting our mouths, being silent. Like just letting it go. Like, hey, let it be and let it be. Like for real. We don't know how to do that. So that's where I'm at with it. If you have nothing nice or useful to say in this world, just politely shut the fuck up. And I think I said that very nicely. Please and thank you. You know, nowadays, everyone feel entitled and comfortable about giving their two cents and giving their opinions when no one asks for it. 
So yeah, do me a favor and sit this week out. Like I'm, I'm so serious. I feel like in this world, we give it too many people platforms. We giving too many people the 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 space to always say what they feel and how they what they would do in a situation, how they don't like this, and how they don't like that. When it's like, who the fuck are you? Like, why do people feel so entitled to sit there and always got something to say about somebody else or what's going on? Like, for real, like, this is really getting insane. It's getting too much for me. So, yeah, sit this week out, y'all. This world is showing us how it's just going to shit, that people are losing their mind and that it's a very scary and evil place. All I'm asking is that we try to make a conscious effort to be a little more understanding, to be a little bit more compassionate, to be a little more kind and give a little more grace. Give it. It's free. It don't cost nobody anything to give someone's grace. Giving grace doesn't mean that you're excusing bad behavior or reckless decisions or even turning the other cheek. And y'all should know by now that Kenya B ain't never going for that. I'm never going to be okay with somebody just out here just being reckless, just being a bad person, doing fucked up shit. You're going to never hear me say like, oh, okay. All I'm asking is just try to get that person grace to people who are trying because that's something I don't see. I see everybody want to kick someone by their down, but. You have people that actually are trying to make trying to make amends, are trying to make the next step, are trying. But you got so many people that's like, I already cut them off. I already cut them off at the knees. Uh-uh, you did this. And everybody want to live in the past when the past has already happened. The only thing we could focus on is moving forward. So that's why I'm sitting there saying we need to really start practicing giving people grace. Like, it already happened. Let it go. If that person is really trying to make a conscious next step and they're trying to make amends, they're trying to move forward, why not give them grace? Why not, you know, you know, just give them that time and that space to do better? Now, I'm not sitting there saying, you know, it's always going to be a conversation about, okay, yeah, we can move forward, but we still got to talk about what you did. But in that moment, give them grace or even give them grace on the fuck ups. So. Another thing, give grace to, you have to give grace to your parents. We really do. Even the ones that has royally fucked us up, give them grace. They didn't have all the answers and no, it's not right because, you know, as children, we feel like, oh, you knew better. You should, you should have did better. You know this, you know that, but they don't, they're human too. And no, it does not take away your pain. It does not take away the mistakes. It don't even take away of them, you know, fucking up. But it do open the door to some type of common ground and healing. And honestly, you just just give someone grace. I'm not sitting there saying just be like, okay, well, you did do X, Y, and Z, and it's okay. No, I'm just sitting there saying meeting somebody where they at. I mean, of course, you got to speak your truth and, you know, say, hey, you heard me this way. You did this. You did that. They don't have to do that, but we don't have to necessarily paint them out to be like this bad person. Just write them off and just say, fuck you, because you didn't do this. No, give them a little grace. And give grace to the friend who hasn't been present like you would want them to be. Or even the friend that's constantly going back to the same fuck nigga. They'll get it together eventually. All you have to do is meet them where they're at. And this week, I really just want everybody to try to meet people where they're at. Of course, people could make better decisions. People could be further along. People make their life hard. We know that. But all I'm asking is that us as humans, being perfect within ourselves, just give people the space of giving them that that nod of, you know what, I understand where you're at. It's okay. I'm going to meet you here, even though I wish you would be further along. You should have been further along. I'm just going to give you that grace and that I'm going to cut you some slack. And give grace to our partners. Like, relationships are hard. We know that. 
And sometimes we have to work a little harder to get it right. Sometimes people make mistakes. Sometimes people hurt us intentionally and unintentionally. So cut people some slack. Cut them some slack. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm trying to get y'all to see is to give people some slack. And give you need to be giving grace to your family. You know, sometimes we we didn't we didn't choose our family. Somehow, some way God put us in that family for a reason. And you know, it's all a part of the bigger picture. We know that. So how about we become a little more understanding or even try to look see why people are who they are? And of course, you know, as you grow, you might see the problems and you see the challenges people face. Just take them where they at. Because some a lot of people don't even know. A lot of people don't know where to go from from where they at. People don't know how to move forward. And even if they do know, some people don't have the willpower to discipline. And I'm attested to that. I was just legit saying to myself, like, I really like discipline. And I'm woman enough to say that. Like, it's really hard. I have all these plans. I have all these things that I have to do. I make to-do lists. I could make a plan. And my problem right now, even though it's off topic, is executing the plan. I don't be having the energy or the willpower or the discipline to be like, you know what? I said I was going to work out today, so I'm going to work out. I said I was just only going to drink water today, so I'm only drink water. I can't do it. And I'm learning to give my own self grace because that's most important. Start giving your self grace because we might always say like oh i'm not gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do better but sometimes we don't follow through and us not following through all i do is end up building up anxiety or triggers depression or just make us start feeling bad about ourselves so i'm gonna be that person to tell you give yourself some grace that's really the most important if you ain't one feeling everything i was just saying give yourself grace be okay with what you at And understand that you might not be where you want to be. You might not be the person that you want to be. You might not even look the way you want to look. But just give yourself that that extra love, that extra oomph of, it's okay. I might not be where I want to be, but I'm here and I'm going to make the best of it. And I'm going to say that goes for all relationships on, on any level, on any, you know, way or form. Give people grace. Give them some grace. Give them some slack. Cut you some slack. Most importantly. You know, life is hard. Shit happens. And I know this. Y'all know this. We all know this. To combat this hardship, how about we go through life from an area of compassion? Let's start moving gracefully. From an area of doing our best and not taking everything to heart. And y'all know I'm getting y'all the book. If y'all, I've been talking about this book. If y'all have not read the four agreements, y'all really need to go check it out. Because I'm trying to tell you, it really opens, it opens your mind to a new way of thinking. And doing your best and not taking things personal are two of the four agreements. And I'm realizing, I read this book about two years ago. I'm realizing more often that the four agreements are something that are like, top tier pillars or top tier values and how you supposed to really live your life like simple go through the day with just on your mouth i'm doing my best and yeah with doing your best i might not accomplish everything that i said i was going to accomplish but it don't matter as long as you did your best like i tell my son this all the time like he most recently had a karate uh testing and he wanted to skip a full belt but the way it goes, it's like normally every test you get a half a belt. And he was so, so focused on he, I'm going to skip a belt, I'm going to skip a belt, I'm going to skip a belt. And he really tried to get to his goal, but some way or form, he didn't, he di- wasn't able to. So after we left karate, he was really upset. He was, I'm so sorry that I didn't, you know, get the belt that I wanted. And he was really upset. And I tell him like, son, it don't matter that, you, you know, it's not about, you get into where you wanted to go it's about that you did your best and i had to reinforce it to him like you still did a good job 
you were great. Like this is the even the instructor said this is one of your best testings you done had. Like he legit has he he did a good job. Yeah, it wasn't enough to get him where he wanted, but he still got a belt because some people. I was even one girl. She didn't even get a new belt because she wasn't up to par. So I told him like you have to don't do that to yourself. I'm gonna stop you now at 11 years old. Do not beat yourself up. Give yourself some grace. You did the best you can. And that's all that I expect from you. Now, if you would have went out there half assed and then of course it's going to be like, nah, you could have did better than that. But as long as you do your best, that all that matters. So with doing your best, just give yourself a little more compassion. Give yourself a little love. Understand that although we might want certain things, those things might not be what we need at that moment too. And I'm, that's something I'm learning. And it's, I know it's hard. It sucks. It's, it's really one of those things that's very aggravating because you're like, but I want this. Like, this is what I want. But sometimes it might not be the time. And in those little awkward phases of this trying to figure it out and just going through the motions, give yourself some type of compassion. I'm going to keep saying it. Give yourself grace. Give grace. Like, all week. I want y'all to, every time some, you know, bad happen or some, you know, God throw a monkey wrench in y'all plans, just be like, you know what? I'm going to give you grace. And that don't mean that you a sucker. And that do not mean that you're a weak ass bitch or you a, a, a weak ass nigga. No, it don't. And I don't mean to say that word. I, I should rewind, whatever. That does not mean it. That just mean that you're giving that person that space, that understanding. That kindness. Because regardless of what you might say it or not, it shows more about you as a person than it really does them. Another thing, start guarding your heart a little more. And I know y'all like, what? Yes, start guarding your heart a little more. Move in a way where you have all the love and positive the all the love and positivity to give out in this world yes always move from a space of you have all this love to give it's whatever however protect yourself from the outside pressures the bullshit and the negativity that this world give out daily so i'm gonna i'm gonna say it again guard your heart you know what i'm saying you need to guard your heart i'm legit i'm saying it i'm a Remember this, guard your heart. And I'm not sitting there saying to be like a closed off, negative Nancy, like I don't trust nobody, this, that, and the third. No, I'm not sitting there saying it from that standpoint. I'm saying to love everybody. Always, do, you know, always putting positive vibes in there. Always moving from a space of love. Always, you know, encouraging somebody. Always being, you know, a good person. Yes. However, guard yourself in a way where you could protect yourself from all the BS that goes on in this world on a daily basis. And it's I'm and it's weird. It's crazy to me because I didn't really just hit me because lately I've been reading the Bible and I've been, you know, sometimes listen to little um sermons or whatever. And in the Bible, even God says to guard your heart. Guard your heart. Guard it. And I'm not sitting there saying close your heart. I'm not saying close it. I'm just sitting there, guard it. You know, like how everybody got the ring cameras or whatever. Just have that guarded. You know, you just not expecting somebody to break in. You just have that extra protection. It's like, okay, I could see who out there. Not, you know, you know, that type of vibes. I promise you, life will get a little easier. And giving grace will become second nature. It will. Because I'm really surprised at how far I have come. Because I've always been. I don't know. I feel like to, as I'm getting older, I'm just doing a 360 all together. Like, I am a totally, completely different person than I was 10 years ago. Really, five years ago. I would even say a year ago, I'm a totally different person. So, I just want to express to y'all, stress to y'all, get it through y'all brains. To give grace. Just give out compassion. Get out love. And to help y'all become what assisted me with being a little bit more graceful and more compassionate, it start just reflecting on 
you know, everything that you have. Come from a space of being grateful. Or, you know, always kind of reflect back to how far you come. Because regardless if y'all want to believe it or not, y'all are, we are never the same person that we was yesterday or the same person we was last year. And unfortunately, some people do be moving backwards. You know, that's part of the game. Sometimes you got to go four steps back to go one step forward. We know that. But just always come from a space of being grateful for what you got. Being thankful. Being appreciative. And being kind. Showing love. Being positive. And I promise you, it's going to change your life. You might mess around and just be getting unnecessary, you know, unexpected blessings. So don't ever, don't ever say I ain't never tell y'all nothing. And on that note, I'm going to end it right here. Hope everyone has an amazing week. Y'all stay safe and prayed up. It's crazy out here in these streets. Be grateful, be blessed, and be thankful. But most importantly, keep ducking it out. Peace.